All right, so I want to take a look at uh, debugging on the Android device using Flash Professional CS 5.5. And here I am inside of an FLA called Android Debugging. And on the stage I've got a square that I've created as a button. And I've got a circle that's also a button. And basically uh, what we're looking at is I want to be able to trace when certain events occur. And the best way to do that, uh, first let's go into the code. And I'm gonna, I have a document class here. One thing you note that uh, when you go to edit, it'll ask if you, if you wanna open it in Flash Professional or Flash Builder. Uh, there's a great round tripping effort with Flash Professional and Flash Builder. Uh, we won't cover that right now, so go ahead and choose Flash Professional. Click OK. And inside this uh, debug class, I've created an init function. And inside that init, I wanna do a trace. We're going to say i is initted. All right, go ahead and save that. Click over to the FLA. Now at this point, uh, you need to make sure, go click the uh, application settings for Air for Android, and make sure that uh, under deployment, you've got your certificate, uh, the password, at this point, uh, we can leave it at device release because uh, the feature that I'm going to show you uses the debugging over the USB cable. So as you can see, I have my phone plugged in. Uh, we've already made sure that it works. And at this point, uh, just go ahead and click OK. Um, we want to debug by choosing debug and then debug movie and then choose on device via USB. Now go ahead and select that. It's going to automatically compile and publish the app. And then we can look over to our device. It's going to launch it. Also notice that uh, the app switched um, to the debug view and it traced our first statement, I is a knitted. Excellent grammar if I do say so myself. All right, so there we are, we've debugged it. Now, let's go ahead and stop this session Notice it switches back to the other view. Let's go ahead and also notice it uh, exited on the uh, device. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Uh, go ahead and click the Android debug.as file. And let's create a few more event listeners. Uh, so if we look back at the FLA, notice that I called it, for the square, I called it the square. And guess what? This the circle. Okay, those are the instance names. For those buttons on the stage. Now I want to go ahead and say the square dot add event listener, and the event listener that I want to listen for is I want a mouse event. Go ahead and press enter. And notice uh, what I did is I pressed controlled space get the code hinting and then it uh, added the import statement for me. And I want the click. And then I'm going to create a function called handle button clicks. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing for the circle. The circle dot add event listener. If I press control space, whoops, hold on. I got it. Add event listener. And again, we have a mouse event, mouse event, whoops, <laughs> I guess I had to spell it properly. I don't know why that is, but go ahead and press click and then handle button clicks. Now, the next thing uh, we want to do is create this function. So below the init function, I'm going to add private function handle button clicks event and it's a mouse event whoops <laughs> mouse good grief people undo undo I got ahead of myself mouse event which we already have imported all right so within here we're gonna say trace you clicked the and then we want event dot current target dot name right and that'll give us the instance name 
Okay, go ahead and save this and click over to the FLA. Now we're going to do debug and choose debug movie and click on device via USB. Go ahead and click that. Okay, we look over here to the device. It's going to, well, here it is still publishing. Here it comes. Eight. So there it goes. Now it switches and hey, there we are. Now notice we are that we got the uh, first trace statement. Now if I go ahead and click, hey, you clicked the circle. And if I touch, you clicked the square. Check it out. All right, very simple, very easy to use. Okay, that is debugging via USB. This is just a simple example. Just wanted to get your feet wet. Go ahead and stop this. Uh, but that is how we use the debugging. Now, if you've had trouble connecting your Android device, check out my tutorial on debugging with Windows connecting an Android device. Uh, if you're on a Mac, then you probably have no trouble at all. Uh, yeah, we're good. Thanks for watching.